What's up guys? Joseph with Studio JR here. Just want to let you know that for today's video, we're actually going to be doing something a little different. So the Gran Turismo movie just came out. Gran Turismo, they made a movie based on the real events of Jan Martinborough becoming a race car driver. And in light of that, we've done some like Gran Turismo themed events. So me and my friends, we're actually about to do a Gran Turismo game night. And we're actually going to be showing you guys that. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Hope you like it. Before returning to the vlog, let me run you through just what exactly Gran Turismo is. Now there is a long historical explanation for Gran Turismo, the impact it's had on racing games, and how in my opinion and many others, Gran Turismo is and always will be the most fantastic racing game of all time. Still, it didn't sound like that at first. In fact, Gran Turismo, like all great things, started out as a dream, and like all great dreams, never came true on the first try. You see, there was a man, his name was Kazunori Yamauchi, and he had a vision of a racing game that wasn't like any others in the 90s, like Wipeout, Need for Speed, or even Road Rash, whatever that was. No, this game was going to be a game that brought together car geeks and gamers, and it worked. Which is saying a lot considering that Kazunori himself is an accomplished race driver who's won various events, including regular placements in the annual 24 hours of Nürburgring. You know, the Nürburgring, the Green Inferno, the one place everyone crashes at. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Kazunori and his team at Poly's Entertainment, which is now known as Polyphony Digital, sold more than 2 million copies of the game Gran Turismo in the US, Asia, and Europe. They didn't just draw up cars and put them in a game. Nope, they scanned them with cameras, recorded the very sounds, put together iconic tracks from music back in the day. They even put in their own unique cars under the GT Vision brand and added in their own original tracks, as well as actual real life tracks that exist. And with every tiny detail of the cars and tracks they were going to use in the game, that made for a even more realistic experience. The first Gran Turismo game ever released in 1997 had only 150 cars. For comparison, Lever Speed 2, which was also released in 1997, had only 9 cars. 9! At the time of making this video, Gran Turismo 7, the latest release in the Gran Turismo franchise, had a total of 420 cars. Times have changed. Now, me and my friends, who love cars and animals, and just like Yamaha, are here today to see who has more taste to power to the metal than Gran Turismo 7. I remember the last time I used a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one going to grab one. Hey, FIA, what was that? <laughs> Who initiated the contact? Jason. Me? He did. He initiated it. You're wrong. No, I'm not. I'm about to radio in. Wait a minute, how come he got the warning now and he didn't get the warning then? Oh, he already got his warning, sir. Hey, is that Leclerc going in the runoff? <laughs> <laughs> is he ahead of us? Bro. Right. Yeah, 
two TV set going on here. Two TVs, two PlayStation. People showed up. I'm surprised how many people showed up today. I'm about to race Nurburg ring right now, so I'm the GTR on the top and my friend's the Mercedes on the bottom. What we've been doing is we're both racing the same track, different cars, and whoever gets the fastest time is the winner. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll crash. All right, guys, we are back home now. I'm glad we were able to do this event, man. It was so much fun having my friends over. We had so many good races, so many, so many good times, so many fast cars. I got as much footage as I could because I didn't want to distract people. But if you noticed in one of the parts, that was me and a friend of mine. We're also going to have an interview on the channel coming soon. He races real cars, so get ready to hear his experience, his interview coming up. And I'm just glad we are able to get it done. You know, Gran Turismo is such a big game for me. I I had no idea until I looked back on it. My mom actually got me Gran Turismo on the PSP. Looks a little bit like this right here. But man, it was such a good time to have all my friends here. We were all able to do this. All got to have fun. I need to see if I can find the footage of the races in the game. And hopefully I can put in the video. I hope so. If not, then I just hope that you guys enjoyed what you saw here today. And thank you guys for watching. And... Expect more soon. Take care. Bye.